hello guys welcome back to the channel and i hope you guys are doing absolutely fine i know that you guys are facing the issue on the task number one of this lab so it is updated solution for this lab and in this video i'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab so first of all just be logged in with your credentials and once you're done with that come back over here and activate your cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile in the description box of this video i will share all these commands so basically what you do you have to come back to the lab instructions and click on the task number one scroll down a little bit over here and from here you can see this region so just be copy with this region come back over here and paste like this way now make sure that there is no extra space after equal to now copy all this command come back over here paste hit enter wait for a second and then just click on authorize now this command will take couple of minutes meanwhile what we will do we will come back to the lab instructions and just scroll down over here now from here you can see this identity aware proxy so just simply copy this thing do not copy this comma copy like this open this thing new tab like this way and just simply come back over here Wait for a second now. Now just click on this cross over here and then click on this enable API. Then click on this go to identity and then just click on this config over here like this way. Click on this got it and now click on this internal and then click on this create over here like this way now first of all for the application name just me scroll down over here and from here you can see this iap example so just me copy this thing and paste over here like this way now just me click over here and from here just me choose your student id like this way now just me scroll down over here now here you can see add domain for this domain what you do come back over here and scroll up and from here you can see this command so just me copy this Come back to your dashboard and just me click on this plus icon over here like this one. Now, now wait over here. Okay, now just run the command over here like this way. Then copy this echo command and paste over here like this. Now here you can see this admin. So just me copy this thing carefully. Come back over here and paste over here. First of all, click on this add domain over here and then paste over here like this way so basically it's your project id dot uc dot r dot 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 com like this one okay now for the email address again copy your username and paste over here like this way make sure that your configuration must look like this if it's so then click on the save and continue scroll down and then click on the save and continue wait for a second scroll down again click over here again now click on back to dashboard so it's done. Now you can just close this tab. Now on this task, you have to just refresh the page. First of all, you have to refresh the page. Now wait over here. Now, if you are not able to find this kind of filter, no need to worry. I will recommend you wait for at least one to two minutes. Again, refresh the page and then you are able to get. Now here you can see app, engine app. Just simply click on this toggle over here and then click on this turn on. Wait for a second now. And it's done. Now click on this checkbox over here. And then click on this add principle over here. Now for the new principle, again copy your username and then again paste over here. Like this way. Now for the role, just simply scroll down over here and from here you'll get a role. So just simply scroll down and from the point number 4 you can see IAP secured web app role. So just simply copy this thing. Do not copy this last full stop. Otherwise you are not able to find the role. So just simply copy like this. Come back over here and paste over here. Like this way. Now click over here and then just click on the save. Wait for a second and it's done. Now if you come back to the dashboard and if you just come back to this tab and here you can see this command is still running. Now you have to just wait for this command get executed and once it's done you are done with this lab. So just wait for a couple of minutes and after that we will check the score for the lab.
and it's finally done. Now if you just me come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for each and every task, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated for any particular task, no need to worry. I will recommend you please wait for at least 5 to 10 minutes and again check the score because this particular lab take that much time to update a score. Okay, so as you can see, it's updated over here and for the task number 2, I'm not getting a score. So keep hitting on the check my progress, just simply wait and you will get a full score on this particular lab without any issue. Just simply wait and watch. And as you can see, it's done. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day, guys.